What's up guys, we're back down here at Twin River Raceway. Got the Vic, gonna be doing a little bit more testing. Figured out a lot of stuff last time we was here. We changed the gear, we got a clutch tamer in it that will help take the human air out of this thing and do some slipping for us. We done a big battery for a weight bias to corner balance the car. 513 gear, things should be pretty gnarly. So the, there's a whole process of how we have to do this thing. It's two steps, so this is your initial hit. This is the slip. It what it is, got the scramble button. Ain't gonna touch that for the majority of the day until we get the car to leave. Mainly gonna do a little bit of 60 footing. Maybe get the car out through first gear, that's it. Back it up, do it all over again, make the changes we need to change, so. We actually have our buddy Chris Cook coming down today to do a little testing as well before the stick shift wars um, that we, attend, we plan to attend as well. He's gonna help us out. He's a lot more knowledgeable in the terms of no prep than we are, so we'll take any help we can get. And if you ain't heard his name before, Dude's a monster in the no prep scene. Kind of hard to beat in a stick shift game. But I'm excited to see his car. Get some testing with it. Get some testing with the Vic. See if he can help us dial in this suspension and get this car to leave. Last time we were struggling, just the car bogging. First gear would go out to 70 mile an hour. So it was just constant. Uh, we couldn't get the car to move. That was the problem. So this 513 gear, it should be able to get the car going. If that's the case and we can get it to stick, this thing should be a completely different animal. Especially on the scramble button. Shoo, got that big money done rolled up. Thing's a fucking race car. It is relatable. <laughs> Holy shit. The hell we doing in the same class as him? I wish I knew. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. Did you have the draggy going? No. I didn't figure. We can look. Well, we didn't even go to the 60 anyways. So. Right here, it started to spin a little, and then it caught itself, and then rode it out real nice. Yeah. What is this thing? Like, just a little nitro small block forward? Yep. Econo line van motor. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. So...
prepping for the biggest. He short shifted the hell out of that. Yeah. I think it had a lot of extension on that. Good, I stayed in it. Yeah, uh, Chris said add some power. Oh, <laughs> so definitely. whatever, I don't know. The RPM seemed good on the leave. Uh, we just got to turn it up somehow. So what is that? Just gonna be on you? Yeah, turn RPM up or pull more time, or I can give out a little hey. tap on the launch. You short shifted the hell out of it. Not oh, facts. I don't even know what happened. Did you get a draggy? Yeah, my phone's somewhere in the back seat. <laughs> I can try more RPM on the leave. Uh. I wish I had the log, but I don't. So. I don't know, see. I'm gonna raise it 250 more RPM. I try and turn the boost up a smidge. Yeah, it felt good. It felt slow. Yeah. I so. mean, honestly, it looked good, but it definitely used a lot more on the start. I mean, we're playing in the glue now, so. All right, y'all, that was an all motor pass on Chris's car. He just now put the bottle back in it. Things about to get wicked. Well, we got to do stage one and stage two. Oh, oh you got electronics in this thing? Oh, you get yeah. with the time? Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me about a two point two. That thing sounds gnarly. I love small block forward. <laughs> Things just sound good. That's nice. stick cars are so sick Facts. hi y'all so on the vic here we turn the launch rpm up what 250 yeah i went from 50 250 to 5500 all right so we done that and we got a little bit more aggressive with the timing to try and make a little bit more boost on the launch correct all right other than that we made no changes we're just going to try to creep into this that was our first full pass here and right now we are exactly where we left off on our last pass which we made 25 passes last time we was here and we're already back to where we was so it's looking good gold titanium bolts on that fuel tech wheel looks snazzy dude I kinda especially with these aluminum yeah. rings i like that that came out good <laughs> Look decent. First. That was a good launch. One six two. Let's go. Hell yeah. That was a. Uh, that was good. See what's it's going. It's going to take whatever y'all want to put in it right there. I, I think, think it is. Yeah. Yeah, I did shit. I turned it on. Okay. I seen it not Look, blinking. I was like, over oh, looking. Oh, shit. It slipped a little on that one. I mean, it was a good slip, but. What do you think that 60 foot was? It looked your best. It was a 162. Really? Yeah. Shit. Chris said we can work with that. That looks really good, but he thinks it's going to take whatever we can throw at it. Yeah. Is that the fastest you've ever done in this car? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. It was a 16. So we cut that 162, part? I mean. Do we cut that part? Or do we put that on the YouTube? You ain't got many secrets on YouTube. Only no, thing we. Make, only thing you ain't showing on YouTube is your butthole. No, well, well, we can no. get there. He cuts that out. 
I do cut that out. As soon as it left, I was like, I looked at the code, I was like, that's that's yeah. good. You can see the RPM dip right there. It barely just dipped and then it took off. Yeah, well, that might be perfect then, but I don't know what it'll do if we add more. It might just flare do you, that. Do you, wanna, do you want me to get like the clutch tamer expert on the phone and tell you, and let him, hey. Cody stock guy. We take, he runs it every weekend. We take any help we can get out here. Hey Chris, what's up? How you doing Jacob? I'm doing alright. We're doing a little testing over here for the big stick shift wars and, and my uh, buddy here is running a tamer and I, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Alright. When when I know we're probably leaving at less RPM than you, but when you do your initial clutch dump, what are you looking for your RPMs to do while the tamer is slipping? Are we looking for a little bit of drop or are we looking for no drop? Well, it's a very, have you got a, it's got a data logger on Yes. Okay. You look for a little bit of rise. Like, if it, like say you're launching at 5,000. Yeah. It rose a little. You want a little flare little. so you know the hit knob is working. Okay. And then flare. it should start slipping and pulling the motor down too. Okay. We, what, ba what we're basically looking at, there, there's a slight rise before the fall. And uh -huh. the fall was probably how many RPM? Shit. 200, 200 about 200 and uh -huh. then it starts a steady rise okay what, what are you launching at 50 500. 500 okay where's the motor make power i know it's no grip so it's a little different <clears throat> 7000 <laughs> 7, <000. laughs> but, it, but it's a twin turbo 6.2 ford mod motor oh oh okay uh is it a blue car no, this is a Crown Vic. Some boys out of oh, Bristol. Oh, okay. I know you're talking about now. I've seen the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it hooking and going? Yeah, we're right. We would basically ride the ring gear with the amount of traction we've got right now. Well. Okay. If, it's, if you got traction, I wouldn't mess with it. Can I ask him if we, if we throw more in it? If we, it if we it add power, more? is it going to affect our clutch setting? Is it going to stay kind of the same, you think, Jacob, or will we start if seeing a change? If it's set right, it shouldn't. It shouldn't affect it. Okay. Sounds right. good. But it's already when it's fast to 60 foot, so, I mean, it's yeah. it's doing good. I mean, if it's, if it's dead hooking and only dropping it 300 RPMs or 500 or whatever, that's doing its job. It's doing the right thing. Okay. Sounds good. That, that's my opinion. Thank you so much, Jacob. I take it. That, that, you were talking about worried about your axles. Yeah. That is going. That'll take care of your axles from yeah. now on. Because that leaves like an automatic. Yeah. Like, that made a believer out of me. I was always kind of like, nah, you know, I can <laughs> meet him and my, I can't get results like that. Yeah. Clutch yeah. tamer is what wins races yeah. for them. So. We've sat here and made a damn commercial. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is a whole video. We're eight and a half minutes in, boys. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll turn it up. See you next How time we there. turn it up? Like, what are we doing to turn it up? I can either go more RPM or we leave the RPM the same and I pull a lot more time and then put more duty in the boost controller and get it to leave on about 15. And you tell me this shit's easy. Well, <laughs> I just it, did the same thing, but it's called totally different things. He just drag and drop a box yeah. and put 65 and it just. <laughs> we turn it up a little bit just a little bit i don't know for sure <laughs> damn that thing's fucking rolling yeah <laughs> that leaf was nice i seen a little smoke was that the clutch or tire Solid. It definitely slipped a clutch. 690. Damn. That's the fast car's ever been. Yes!
Man, sixes, bro? Yeah, it's the first six second pass hey, I've listen, ever made. Listen, that's got a damn black ZL1 covered every day of the week. <laughs> 160. So it's going down. It's, but it, it slipped the clutch. It smoked it. So. Was that the was that a little bit of clutch smoke right there? Yeah, that was clutch smoke. But it left good. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Dude. Listen, it is there is not a centimeter of tire slip in that video. No, like suspension says everything was it's, perfect, it looked like. It's good. Yeah. A little bit of playing with a clutch tamer. Yeah. That's gonna be in the one fives pretty soon, and that's gonna be in the six seventies pretty soon on a relatively <laughs> safe amount of power. You ain't hit the scramble yet, heavy. No, that was uh that was about 15 pounds that time. So yeah. we still got about 10 more to go. And that's a safe, like it went a six on a safe amount of power. Like, yeah. don't gotta worry about. That'd have been a 10. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't a quarter mile car no Not more. no more. <laughs> I think now that's probably good. We need to get the clutch set up, get in the one fives, and then we can start pouring power down track. Yeah. Let it come in, cause right now yeah. it's launching pretty good. Huh? All right, I'm down with it. And man, it's so, like it don't act aggressive. It's not trying to hurt axles. I mean, that is I good. couldn't believe you stayed in it. Cause it looked like it was oh, a it little bit. Good. I was like, I'm fucking it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> it was rolling up top. It was, I could tell from up there. I was like, that's definitely the fastest it's ever went down through there. No, I clicked fourth and I was sitting there and I saw my uh, shift light flicker and I'm like, oh fuck. And then it stayed on. I'm like, fuck yes. <laughs> hey y'all, so you heard it here. That's the best pass cars ever went. We're in the sixes now, so I mean, that makes us feel a lot better for sure. So, he put the big kid on that and knocked her loose up there. Rocket, oh boys. my god. Right there, boys. That is fucking wild. He's going to have to learn how to drive this thing now because it's about to get fast. <laughs> <laughs> it looked. It looked gnarly, yeah. yeah. So, like, what we do? Give it another clockwise turn? We can either take some of this out, which is the actual it picking the pedal okay, up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we can give it more hit. But what's the hit looking like? When it, I, I can't tell when it's slipping. Is it slipping the second I leave, or is it slipping? I guess no, I, I think can... it's slipping on out. So we could take a little out of this. Yeah, I agree. Because this thing is wicked up pretty hard. Went in the back seat. I don't know. <laughs> it felt it's good. good Six ninety eight again. Like clockwork. One oh four. He said it smoked the clutch a little bit still. It did a little bit, a little less, I think. Yeah, I think it was better. So I think we're just gonna take another. What's the sixty foot? One six three. Damn. Ignition. Let me hop fuck in here. Chris could not tell me to hop in his car. You ain't gonna tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that one on and start buttons right there, and then fuel pump fan and water pump she ready to go oh you turn the fuel pump on after yeah Good God, dude. Is that, is that thing on the barrel of the phone? <laughs> it's like, what's oh, the well, it's, it's... Damn. 
No, this thing's a fucking unit. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the damn shoe. Is that, mm. thing, is that thing not a hoot to, to drive? It's a good car. It's a, like it good. does what it uh, shit. Damn. I didn't know if you wanted me doing all that. Oh, yeah. I, I would have told you driving. <laughs> you can street this thing. No, 100%. Like, I mean, like, it yeah. drives good. Yeah. No, that's better than the Vic, honestly. <laughs> like, it, it drives really good. Shit. All right, y'all, Chris Cook's getting his car loaded up. Huge shout out to him for coming down, helping us out, keeping an eye on things, letting us know what we should and shouldn't do. Cars come fucking leaps and bounds from what we was last time, so uh, huge shout out to Twin River as well for having us down here, letting us come and do this stuff, because without it, we couldn't do this. So we're probably gonna pop one more pass off here, see if we can get this clutch slip out of it and the car leave, get a 1560 something. Other than that, I might tell them to go ahead and hit the scramble button so we can test it, see if it pushes coin like it did in the last video. I don't know. God dang, I don't know why Chris Cook told me to drive his fucking car. Well, I heard it driving, and like I looked up and I seen Chris standing there, and I was like, Chris is there, Will's there, I'm here. <laughs> what the fuck is Dakota doing in the fastest stick shift car in the country? <laughs> That's pretty nuts. Hell yeah. Oh, I was like, he's like, man, you wanna drive this thing? I was like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I ain't gonna do nothing stupid. He's like, fucking gag on that. Thing. <laughs> gag him, <laughs> That thing's a handful. No, the where that micro switch thing is, it's got a front micro switch and a back for your forward and back shifts. It keeps seizing up. So when he pushes and lets off, it stays engaged forward or back. Gear and that slipper chain check on. Hey y'all, it looks like that's gonna be our last hit down here at Twin River Raceway. Vic is leaps and bounds better than it's been, especially compared to last time. Huge shout out to Twin River for letting us come down here, do this testing. Big shout out to Chris for coming down as well, keeping an eye on things, telling us what he thinks we should or shouldn't do. <sighs> Ultimately, couldn't be happier with the car. We got a long ways to go to be at the fastest of the pack, but we're right there in the middle of the pack probably now. So it is what it is. I think we had a great testing session, especially considering this morning started out like shit, pushing coolant, fighting this thing. <sighs> what do you think about that pass? It was trash. Was it trash? I mean, it was trash, but it looked good leaving. 732, 1660. Oh, well, yeah, with cutting up, all that bullshit. It won't shift. Well, your shit's fucked up. I mean, I yanked it as hard as I could. This thing's about to die. So, if you like this video, you excited to see what we're about to do with the no prep Vic? Hopefully, we do good up at the airport for the stick shift wars. Who knows? We still kind of ducks, but until next time, like, share, subscribe. Peace.